Welcome to new SafeJS Improvement Podcast. Uh, this time around, I want to compare a little bit the SafeJS keyboard with the a BlackBerry Virtual Keyboard for Android in this case. And I want to show you some of the advanced features that I think might be worth taking over also to the SafeJS keyboard. Uh, let's start with uh, the suggestions. Okay, word suggestion. I think this is patented by BlackBerry, so they have word suggestions over the keys and you can just swipe up on a key and this word will then be entered into uh, as you can see a tech view podcast will be entered as a word pretty nice feature but another thing that you have in service is you can swipe here to switch between keyboard layouts i'm not sure if this is really useful because so often you are not changing keyboard layouts and if you are you can just press and hold and then swipe around here to change the keyboard layouts which is also pretty uh, quick uh, indeed so what i find very useful on the blackberry keyboard is if i want to re simply quickly remove a word it's just by swiping back here on the keyboard it will remove the last word not the last letter the whole word which is, I think, a very nice, good feature, especially if you mistyped a word and, you know, uh, hitting back or pressing and holding the, the clear button. Um, no, this is not going to work. There's some other features, just like, for example, this keyboard has no height function. I'm not sure why SafeJS has a height function for the keyboard. Is it really necessary? And couldn't it be achieved by some other gesture instead of using the swipe down gesture? What I find very useful on the BlackBerry keyboard is the swipe down gesture here works in this case that it will switch between uh, the first row of keys and then the secondary keys, in this case the special characters, just like for example numbers and special characters. And if I swipe down again it will go to second, uh, second uh, level of special characters and I swipe down again and I'm on my first uh, level again. Of course they also have the gesture that I can hold uh, uh, they don't have the gesture just like on safe rest. I can press and hold and then go and enter a special character. This is not possible here um, But it's possible on safe chess to just enter quickly characters But to be honest, even if I'm using this in one one hand Doing like this it might be faster for one hand but usually I'm typing with two hands and I'm typing like this and then doing this and this mm. This gesture and and then going back to what I typed is, I think, a lot faster, uh, in my opinion. But yeah, you might have a different opinion because you can see it's doing basically the same thing. It is uh, doing basically the same thing, just like I swipe down, enter my key, and it's going back to my characters. So it's basically also a quick navigation uh, system to write stuff. And I think it is a bit of easier to switch between um, the different special characters that you want to enter. Then also very interesting, they have a top row as well, just like SafeJS, but instead of putting everything there in, they have different icons to switch to. So they have a special clipboard icon, and what this clipboard icon does is not only show the last thing that you had in your clipboard, but also show many, many different other things that I had in my clipboard here, for example and i can choose what i want to have now in my clipboard so this clipboard management is in the keyboard and it's i think pretty good uh, to have something like this another thing is that they have also a uh, emoji emoticon um, section where you can insert emoticons of course savage also has emoticons if you go to your settings and you go to your input devices uh, you have the option to just simply under keyboard layouts say I want the emoji keyboard enabled as well and then if I go back I can just simply go to the emoji keyboard and then I have my emojis here but mm, I think this layout with a button to directly switch to emoticons is way better of course I can swipe 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 and also go to my emoticons but a simple button uh, for choosing emoticons, I think, is also better. Also, what's better solved in this case is the navigation. So I can just, on marking of text, I have another section here, which allows me to just simply go one step back by clicking here. Or I can just simply hold here and swipe to go back and fall. You can see this little cursor icon moving here on the top. 
And this also works for selecting. So I can press this and then say I want to select uh, not all, but this. I don't want to remove this. So go here and remove this. I want to copy this. So this is also a very good tool for um, precisely handling text and also multi-line text and so on. And it has some other features just like cut uh, if you want to cut something out instead of copy something. Here's a copy button. Um, so also very nice. And then now of course they have a feature just like for example using uh, sound as well. Uh, in this case I don't want to use sound. I know sound input is not in Savage as but would be also a pretty nice feature. I think this um, Blackberry keyboard layout uh, makes a lot of sense, especially the marking of text, uh, the, the clipboard handling, and of course the, the way to switch uh, between the different special characters and levels of special characters. How do I switch languages? I was simply pressing and holding the space button, the same as in Selfish S. Here Selfish S solution is better because I have the option to quickly uh, switch between the keyboard layouts. Here I have to click on something again, and here I can just simply uh, Go, don't let go, just hit German and I'm uh, on the German one and then let go. So it has some good points as well. The Savage keyboard is not all bad, but I think Savage S can learn a bit of the keyboard layout of the keyboard, the Blackberry keyboard on uh, Android and I think probably also on uh, Blackberry 10 that had almost similar features, not all of those features, but most of them as well, especially those pretty pretty nice so i hope you enjoyed this little uh, safer dress improvement podcast what do you think about my idea you can of course post your ideas your improvements that you want to see in the safer dress keyboard and uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, thumbs up and if you like it and subscribe and that's it for this uh, little video hope you enjoyed it and uh, until the next time